The success of ants to prosper has led to the emergence of numerous species that prey on their population density and resilience. One such animal is the ant decapitating fly. These humpback flies must rob the bodies of worker ants in order to reproduce since they are forced to live as parasitoids of fire ants. The fly will descend and use her hardened ovipositor, a specialized device for laying eggs, to stab a worker ant in the thorax. Within the ant's thorax, a little maggot hatches. The maggot then slowly crawls its way through the ant's body, consuming the ant's internal tissues while traveling to the ant's head. The larva must first mature for another two weeks before the brain is ready for the eating maggot. The ant will still act as a useful member of the colony even without its brain, according to studies. The ant is further controlled by the maggot, which drives it out of the nest. The growing larva then releases a chemical cocktail that causes the ant's head to separate from its body and the connective tissue between all of its limbs to degenerate. The larvae now start to pupate, and the following week they will reappear as fully grown adults. 